Hi, today I thought I would do a nine month old bedtime routine with my guest star, Ani, AKA the Banshee. Um, normally my wife, Lauda, does bedtime routine with her after work, but she had to stay late at work today and then she was going straight to doing some tutoring. So mommy is on bedtime duty and I thought, since it's a weird night anyway, I would take you along for the ride. So this little wild child has already had her dinner. She's got her pants off. We're gonna do a little bit of playing and a little bit of reading some books and then I will take you along for the next step. All right, next step, get her in the extra saucer where she is contained and I need to get her bottle ready and some stuff in the bedroom ready. So I will take you along. Obviously normally my wife is home so she would breastfeed. It's not gonna be the case tonight. Mm, four ounces, hopefully that'll be enough to at least get her through to when Lauda comes home. She generally only sleeps for an hour before she wants to eat again anyway. So that should be enough to get her through. So I hurried through this. I'll just show you the setup. I got some warm PJs because it's going to be chilly. Her overnight diaper. Again, we don't do cloth diapers at night. Some wipes in case I need them. Her bed is still set up. She does still do the bassinet right next to our bed because of how often she eats at night. Quick interruption to note that we know the bassinet is not the safest option now that she can crawl and pull up. And we are trying to figure out what to do instead. In the meantime, we do supervise her closely. We got the baby monitor the hatch sound machine that will automatically come on at seven and her crane um, humidifier to help with her stuffiness. So it looks like I've got everything set up in here. It is about 6.20. Um, Ani gets a bath about every other night or every third night depending. Oh my! I think she's missing mama a little bit. But anyway, tonight is not a bath night. She just got one last night. So we've got about 40 minutes to burn until bedtime. Oh, tell them. Tell them. Anyway, we've got about 40 minutes to burn until bedtime, so we will probably just play out here until then. Read some books. What do you think? Yeah, we'll see how this goes. not in the mood to be read to today. She just wants to play on things that are going to hurt her. Well, possibly hurt her. She's working on pulling up. Might I note? Mom Ninja, look how close she was to busting her head open. Hi, right, you were going to hit your head. Oh goodness, come here. Oh, well, that was what I was saying. She is learning to pull up and she tries to pull up on things that are a little risky. So she had herself a cry. Her head is red from rubbing it on my hoodie in anger. But we got her all calmed down now. She's actually been fussy for the last couple of days and slowly kind of tugging on her ears. Um, so I'm wondering if maybe she has an ear infection. I actually called the doctor and we're going in tomorrow to see. If it's not that, I'm assuming it's just allergies because our weather has been yo-yoing from hot to cold and stuff blowing in and it definitely hasn't been helping the fussy situation. But let's see if we can keep her from sustaining a head injury until it's time to go to bed. <laughs> oh, I was joking. I won't let you hurt yourself. It's a cute baby. She never gets to look at our phones, so when we let her, it's fascinating. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. Is that baby Ani? Anyone else's babies just love Ziploc bags? I don't know why we buy you toys. We should have just bought you a Costco size variety pack of Ziploc bags. It's the best toy ever. If and when Ziploc bags don't hold her attention anymore, there's one thing that's sure to distract building a tower. 
she is like magnetized and cannot let them stand. Yay, you did it! What a big girl! As soon as she sees two or three things, she wants them knocked over. Try to burn out some energy. Real life mom moment here. We normally try to limit her like light up noisy toys before bedtime. But when you've got a grumpy baby who's missing her mama, you go with what works. All right. I didn't even try to get me wrestling this tiny baby octopus into her PJs on camera because she was, let's say, less than cooperative. But it is now 6.55. It is almost bedtime. I think I'm going to get your bottle and we're going to try to get you to sleep. All right, guys, I have a baby in her PJs. Have a bottle of warm milk. The hatch sound machine is on, which means it's bedtime. The humidifier is going. Our last step of bedtime is turning off the lights and feeding her and then hopefully putting you right to bed. So I'm gonna turn the video off at this point. Hopefully you liked the nighttime routine from second string bedtime mommy. Bye.